Hello, my name's John Porterfield of EcoCarts and another great all-electric car, the wonderful Nissan Leaf. On an 11 plate, registered July 2011. Just picked it up today. It's in a beautiful red. We never had a red one before, but I think they look particularly stunning in this colour. It's the standard Leaf with the optional um, solar spoiler. All Leaf of this particular age have a reversing camera. We've got the standard 10 amp charger, which will plug into any normal three pin socket. In fact, this charger has never been used. This is as new because more than likely he had a home charge unit, which charges at 16 amps, which uh, you can still get from the government for free. Call and ask me for details on the different charging abilities on the Nissan Leaf. So looking around the car, Beautiful upholstery, it's very clean. I have Isofix in the rear, three rear inertia seat belts, three headrests, proper Nissan genuine floor mats in all four foot wells. There are no rips or tears to any of the upholstery or fabric. It's very clean, we just had the door open so we've got a bit of wet on the seat, but uh, it's very, very clean. So, proper. Nissan Leaf over mats in the front foot wells as well. And the door cards, lovely and clean. Still got a very nice, fresh new car smell. Tax is still valid till the end of July 2014. Nil, zero, nothing to tax here in the UK. So let me show you some more features. We have two sets of keys, both remotes. Leave these keys in your pocket, go up to the car. Press that knob and you've now locked the car. Really easy to use. Keys in the pocket, you approach the car, you press this knob, you've now unlocked your Nissan Leaf. Very, very useful. Seat is height adjustable for the driver. No hole to the carpet. Driver's door card, four electric windows with the driver's side being a one-shot remote. Power folding electric mirrors and they're obviously adjustable as well. So how do we start a Nissan Leaf? Well, with the key in my pocket, foot on the brake, you press the power button. There we go, the car is on and running. And we guarantee the mileage there, just 10,159 miles. Various different functions on the car, which I can explain to you. We have uh, cruise control, we have speed limiter as well. Uh, sat nav voice activation we can control the sound from here bluetooth phone all these functions can be controlled from here as well we have a single shot cd player there isn't that great we also have a range as to your current destination uh, with the range that you've got left in the car and obviously all the charge points that are available as well everything works as it should as all the other previous leaf we have sold to the normal heating and ventilation systems that you find in most modern cars. So there's climate control and aircon, of course. A jack there for your MP3 player, iPod, and a USB port on the other side as well. A little uh, 12 volt power point down there, should you require to charge anything. This is the gear stick, looks a little bit like a computer mouse. So you pull it across and down for D for drive, across is neutral, and across and up, engage is reverse, and also pops on the rear view camera. This line here is the bumper to the rear of the car. If I turn the steering wheel, you'll see that the yellow box will change to tell you where your car will end up, looking out the rear of the car. And then to put it in park, you press P, and the screen will return to the last thing that you were looking at. Electronic handbrake, lots of storage and cubby holes. We also have in here we have the spare key uh, nuts for the wheels. We do have the locking wheel nut key and all the manuals and we just basically forgot to pick them up this morning so they are coming early next week. But uh, suffice to say all the manuals and the locking wheel nut key is uh, with the car. Driver's airbag, airbags in the A pillars, in the B pillar 
C pillar, sides of the seats and a front passenger airbag. Lovely cars to drive, beautiful things to own and run and uh, I'll just show you some documentation. So just looking at the V5, it is here. It was owned by uh, Bowman Stories Limited of Walsall. No previous keepers. It's date of registration there, the 28th of July 2011. Taxation class is electric, hence the free road tax and type of fuel electricity. So both uh, parts of the V5 are here ready for you to look at. There's an early uh, battery information sheet from Nissan and a check sheet. And here we have the service book, serviced at Westway Nissan, who I've used a few times. So it had its 12 month service at 5,000 miles on the 10th of the 7th, 12. So that was a year after it's registered. And then its last service was at 8,000 miles on the 3rd of the 7th, 13. So the next service is due at, uh, where are we? Well, another 18,000 miles on from there, or the 3rd of the 7th, 14. Great to see proper Nissan full service history. So we're often asked how do you charge your Nissan Leaf? Well, I just pull this lever here, walk round to the front of the car, and underneath this little flap, we have the two charge ports. That is for your home charging, either at 10 amps or 16 amps. And this is the rapid charger, which charges the car at around about 70 amps. Uh, this will take about 25 minutes to charge. These rapid chargers are situated at most of the motorway network now, service stations, Moto, Welcome Brake service stations, Nissan dealers of course, and also IKEA stores, and more and more are popping up all the time. 25 minutes to fully charge the car, and this, as I say, two different rates, 10 amps and 16 amps. Again, I can explain all the charging rates to you when you either visit me or you call me on the phone. So that's the charging port. And before I walk you around the car, I'll just take you now for a short test drive. So welcome back from the test drive. So let me walk you around the car. There are no chips to the windscreen. It's also got uh, rain sensing wipers as well as all the leaf. We have Bridgestones all round. This one has got ooh, a good four millimetres on the tread. The discs are fine, of course, at just 10,000 miles. Locking wheel that's in place. Alloy wheel is perfect. The wing mirrors are fine. Down the sides we've got the occasional very light scratch, which to be honest has not yet been prepared, but most of those will come out. But they're not going to rust, they're just very light scratches. We have another Bridgestone on the back, and again that's about six millimeters. Alloy wheel is perfect. The rear corners are fine. These stickers will come off, they will not hurt the, hurt the harm the paintwork and uh, something we say to all our customers if you leave these stickers on somebody spots a red leaf goes to our website if it turns into a sale we will send you a 50 pound thank you as a commission so it's worth bearing in mind the other wheel is also a bridgestone and we have a good six millimeters on there alloy wheel is perfect can we lock keys in place again the size again it's not yet been polished some tiny scratches but most of those will come out and the front tire again like the other one four or five millimeters alloy wheel perfect really is immaculate the front of the car is very very clean i've not yet been able to find any stone chips to the bonnet or the front of the car it's a very clean example so what great cars to own congestion charge free around 2p a mile to run this really is the future. So if you have any calls about this or any of our electric vehicles that we sell, then feel free to call me, Jonathan, here at Eco Cars. Thanks for watching.